Whoa. Oh my God, it's so cold out there. Holy crap. I hope you're <laughs> making some soup today. Well, you're in luck. Do you like cheeseburgers, honey? I love it. Do you like soup? Love it. I'm making cheeseburger soup. All right. You're going to love it. It's a really hearty soup. Get your coat off and get in here and help me. You're my cameraman, you know? Okay. All right, let's go. I'm ready. Hi, everybody. Welcome to my kitchen. Welcome to Karen Sizzlin' Spice. That's right. I told Ed we're making cheeseburger soup today. It's a really hearty soup. Great for lunch or dinner. I think your kids are going to love this one. Tastes just like cheeseburgers. What we're going to need today is we're going to use like two pounds of ground beef. We're going to be using a red and a green pepper. We're going to use about four red potatoes. We'll be using a couple of carrots. Whoops. <laughs> Potato on the floor. We're going to use a couple of uh, stalks of celery, some garlic, a big fat onion. We're going to use one can of crushed tomatoes. We're going to be using beef stock. And for our seasoning in this, we're going to add basil, oregano, parsley, salt and pepper, of course. And we're gonna add some nice sharp cheddar cheese to this soup. And we're gonna add a little whipping cream to make the soup creamier. And if you want the soup a little thicker, I've got some flour out here just in case we wanna thicken the soup up. Let's get this going, I can't wait for lunch. Friends, the first thing we're gonna do to get this soup started is we're gonna cut up some of our ingredients. Uh, the first things that are gonna go into the pot are the two pounds of ground beef, the celery, garlic, and onion. So let me get chopping these up, huh? And I'm just gonna uh, dice these, you know, pretty small. I'm using two uh, big stalks of celery. I'm gonna cut up my onion next. Just a medium chop, like I did the celery. Friends, you know, when I first look at a recipe, and before I made this uh, cheeseburger soup the first time, I looked at several recipes. I compare them, and honestly, when you cook, it's such an inexact science that you can really kind of fool with the ingredients. If there's an ingredient in a recipe that I don't care for, I just eliminate it. I might put something in in place of it, I might not at all. This recipe originally called for about three garlic cloves. I love garlic, Ed loves garlic. I'm adding about five cloves of garlic here. So like I said, to get this soup started, we're gonna need our ground beef, our onion, garlic, and celery to get started. So first I got my soup pot nice and hot here. And here goes in the ground beef, two pounds. Right over that, I'm gonna throw in my onion and my garlic. and my celery. Now you may have noticed I put no fat in here because there's plenty of fat in the ground beef. You don't need to put anything in here. As long as you put that ground beef in first, there's gonna be plenty of moisture in here to cook up this ground beef and the celery and the onions. This is gonna take a little bit, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes or so at least to get the ground beef all browned. The next thing I'm doing is I'm getting my potatoes cut up here. And I suppose you could peel them if you want to. I like the skins on. So I'm just cutting them into nice bite-sized chunks. The nice thing about those potatoes is potatoes are nice and starchy, so they will start to thicken up that soup. Okay, I'm just gonna give this mixture a good stir here.
I love my Rachel Ray spoons. You see how it's got a slot here? I never have to look for the holder to put my spoons on. It just goes just like that. We're gonna cut the bell peppers next. You can see this nice big cutting board that I have. I love this thing because I can cut up all my ingredients, move them over and keep on chopping. If you don't have one of these in the kitchen, you really need one. If you see any gadgets that I use in my kitchen that you'd like to have for yourself, make sure you click on the title of this video, scroll down and you'll see all the links for all the gadgets that I like to use in my kitchen. It takes you right to Amazon where you can get those for yourself. We're making all the ingredients for the soup pretty uniform in size so that they'll cook it around the same time. Just a nice chunk to these bell peppers. I love the taste of bell pepper. In a soup or a stew, it adds such terrific sweetness. Now that my ground beef is nice and brown, I need to get the grease out of here. So I just move all the ground beef over to one side of the pot and I take my pot holder to hold this so I don't burn myself, and then I get it out this way. We don't wanna be having that soup, or having that uh, soup taste greasy with us. Yeah, we gotta get this out of here. The next ingredient I'm getting ready here is my carrots. I'm just giving them a good peel. Now carrots take quite a while to cook, and I don't like hard carrots, so I'm going to make sure they're not cut too, too large. We're going to cut them pretty small so that they're going to cook in this soup so they're nice and tender, nice and fork tender. So with carrots for a soup, I like to do this. And then it's really nice if you cut them on the bias like this. Instead of cutting like this, cut them on the bias. They'd look prettier that way, don't they? And it leaves more surface area, too, to make the cooking more uniform. Friends, if you could smell my kitchen, all the, whoo, that's one of my favorite things about cooking is all the smells that emanate from my kitchen. It smells fantastic. Okay, now that my ground beef is drained, I'm gonna start adding all this other goodness. I'm adding my carrots to the pot. I'm adding my bell peppers. This is gonna have so much incredible flavor. My potatoes. You can see what I was talking about when I said how hearty this soup is gonna be. Are you getting anxious, Eddie? I sure am. This is gonna be fantastic. Okay, to that, I'm going to add one whole box of beef stock. It's four cups, and we'll see if that will be enough in the end. I'm going to add one small can of crushed tomatoes. I'm just gonna give this a good stir. Talk about a thick and hearty soup, huh? <laughs> this might be more like a stew, Eddie. Yeah. Ugh, it smells so good, I can't wait. In a little bit, we'll put spice in. We're gonna let this come to a boil first. So while that soup pot comes to a boil, I'm going to get my cheese ready here. I'm using extra sharp cheddar, an eight ounce package. And I'm just gonna cut this cheese into chunks to add into the soup. When the soup is done, when the vegetables are tender, this is one of the last things that will go in. Woo, look at that. The pot's come to a boil. I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit. And I ended up adding about six cups of beef broth to this. This is so thick and delicious looking. Now it's time for spice. 
And I'm going to start out with about a teaspoon of everything here. We'll put a teaspoon of salt in. We're going to put a teaspoon of uh, my basil in here, my dried basil. Nice heaping teaspoon. We're going to put a teaspoon of oregano in here. And we're going to put a teaspoon of parsley in. And we're going to give it a good douse of black pepper. I love black pepper. I'm going to give this a good stir. And we're going to let this simmer, oh, for at least 15 to 20 minutes before I even check. Those root vegetables, the potatoes and the carrots, they're going to take a little while to get tender. Friends, it's been about 20 minutes. And my vegetables are getting tender now. You don't want them mushy. Let me get a toothpick here, Ed, and show you here. Look, if the toothpick goes into the potato easily and it slides off easily, it's about ready. Again, we don't want those potatoes to be mushy. But at this time, I'm gonna add about a half a cup to three quarters cup of heavy cream. And I'm gonna add the cheddar cheese. These are gonna melt beautifully in here. Yum, yum, yum. Look at that. Look at how gorgeous that is. Beautiful. Give it a good stir. And when this is all melted, all the cheese is melty, I'm gonna start tasting it to see if we need anything else, if we need to add anything else. Come back and look at this. Just gorgeous. Look at how beautiful that is. OMG. You guys, look at how gorgeous this soup looks. Ed and I just tasted it. I added a little more salt and pepper and we've decided that we would like it a little thicker. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take about a tablespoon to start of flour. I'm gonna add a little bit of the heavy cream to it. Cause you don't wanna just pour flour into the pot. You wanna mix this this way first. So it's called a slurry when you add flour to a liquid to create a thicker whatever you're making. I'm just gonna add that to the soup. And we'll give this about another, oh, I don't know, five or 10 minutes and it should be thickened up beautifully then, just perfectly. Whoo, smells so good in my kitchen, you guys. This soup looks fantastic, it's beautiful. Kind of a nice orangey color from the cheese. Let's give it a taste. All right. Mmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> Mm. What does that flavor say to you? Cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. This is fantastic. The carrots are sweet. The potatoes are the perfect tenderness. The cheese in there gives that broth such a fantastic flavor. And of course, the ground beef is terrific. I hope this becomes one of your new favorites. Make sure you come back to our channel and watch us often. And remember, you eat with your eyes first. You've got to make it beautiful. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.